Hello everyone and welcome back to another Starwind video. And today we are going to show you how to use Starwind V2V Converter in order to convert virtual machine from Proxmox virtualization platform to another platform. So let's get started. And the first step of the conversion process is making sure that virtual machine, the source virtual machine, is powered off. In the current version, Starwind V2V Converter doesn't support so-called hot conversion or conversion of powered on VM. So if you didn't power off your VM before starting the conversion, the conversion process will fail and you won't get the expected result. In my case, I prepared everything for this video, so the virtual machine that I'm going to convert is powered off. So we're going to the next step, which is start the Starwind V2V Converter software. And after that, the next step is to select the source platform, in our case, Proxmox. So we're selecting Proxmox from the list of all of the available options. Go into the next step. Now we're putting the credentials to the Proxmox server where our virtual machine is sitting. So let me do that very quickly. So now user, password. Let's go to the next step. And the next step, we're selecting uh, the server where our virtual machine is sitting. So we're going to the first server and we're selecting our virtual machine that we're planning to convert. So we're selected it. Let's go to the next step. And next step is to select the target platform. In my case, I will be converting virtual machine to Hyper-V cluster. So selecting Hyper-V, go into the next step. And the next step is to put the credentials for the Hyper-V host. So let me do that quickly as well. So let's put the credentials of the user. So let's go to the next step. And the next step is to put all of the information for the new virtual machine on the target platform, on the target system. So first it's storage. So we're selecting the storage from the list. Uh, then we're putting the name of the new virtual machine on the Hyper-V uh, platform. We're selecting disk that we're going to convert. Then we're selecting the operating system. In my case, it's Linux. So be careful with the, with this setting. So you need to properly select the operating system. Otherwise, the conversion might fail or the end result will be unexpected or so the conversion could be could not be completed. So choose the proper operating system type. So once you did everything, just click convert button it will start the conversion. Once it's finished, just go and check your new virtual machine on the target platform. Make sure that it boots, that it starts, that it powers, powers on. And if everything is fine, conversion is completed successfully. And you go further and convert other virtual machines to uh, your another platform or complete your conversion process. So thank you for being with me on this video. I hope you learned more about the Starwind V2V converter and how to use and where you can use it and in which cases you can use it. So yeah, so thank you for your um, time and I see you next video.